Episode 342. Now there's a beauty. <laughs> You'll love this. I call this episode K for Killer. Because in it, the wonderful character of Nola McKenzie, played by the very, very skillful actress Carol Skinner, has really upset B to a point where B's just about had it. Not as much as she upsets her a few episodes later, but enough for B to deal out some of her sort of punishment. The punishment that B decides to meet out to Nola McKenzie in this particular episode is a branding. So she manages to get one of the other prisoners to nick down to the workshop. I don't know how they were able to get things so easily from the workshop to steal them. Now the script required that B actually knocks Nola out, gets her on her back, and then with the heated up soldering iron, writes the entire word killer right across her chest and I said oh come on don't be ridiculous I'll be here for a week and the smell of burning flesh can you imagine it would alert absolutely everybody they went oh all right so we actually sort of watered it down so I just had to write K on her chest which was pretty gruesome really but she was a pretty dreadful character they never meted out punishment to anyone unless they really deserved it and one of the things i liked about her character is she was never needlessly violent but if you upset her enough then she always came up with some sort of punishment that was extremely appropriate and i think the branding was very appropriate but i have to say that we had to control our laughter somewhat. Carol and I were in fits. We just thought it was so funny <laughs> and pretty unlikely. But uh, it seemed to be, it seemed to actually work. And I was awful, awfully lucky that I had such a good actress to work with. Um, I had seen Carol in many stage productions, but I'd never worked with her on screen before. And I was really pleased that, uh, that, that she'd been given that role. Something else that really grabbed me when I was watching this episode was a character it's involved with Betty Bobbitt's character, Judy Bryant. Now, Judy Bryant is looking for a halfway house to buy with money that she has um, inherited from America. And she's been shown these various houses by this <laughs> a chap by whose name I don't know, who's playing a real estate agent and not doing real estate agents any favours, I can tell you. He looks more like a spiv. Anyway, they finally find this house, a nice old double-storey Victorian house, which I wouldn't mind owning myself, I have to say. But there is someone strange living next door who keeps spying over the fence and, and eventually actually gets caught in the house when he really shouldn't be in there. There's this young man, and the young man happens to be an actor called Darius Perkins, who was the original Scott Robinson in Neighbours, but uh, he was replaced by Jason Donovan. And he was also one of my drama students as a very small child uh, in, at a primary school, Turak State School, and went to school with my children and uh, was really the best student I had in the class. So there he was. All of a sudden we were working together. <laughs> Quite a surprise. 